Making molds from models with thin walls, such as this model of a computer mouse, follows a similar process as the one used in our complex mass casting mold. In this example, our model was machined from Freeman Machinable Wax, a durable, economical, hard wax material that is easy to machine and requires no sealing or releasing to produce accurate silicone rubber, epoxy, or urethane duplications. We've constructed a mold box from wood, ensuring that our model will be surrounded by at least half an inch of silicone rubber. For larger models, we would allow for a larger margin of silicone rubber. Next, we apply Plasticon modeling clay to the bottom of our model. After pressing the model to adhere to the mold board, we clean up the edges of the model with a fillet shaper. Then we apply a light coat of wax release to remove any remaining excess clay. For this mold, we're going to use four small strips of half-round pattern wax to provide the registration. Each piece is being adhered to the mold board with our Plasticon modeling clay. Next, we assemble our mold box and then we mix our Blue Star V330 silicone rubber and CA45 catalyst. We've chosen the more flexible V330 because it will be easier to demold from our wax model. The first half of our mold is now ready to be poured and left alone to cure overnight. The next day, we remove the mold board to reveal the underside of our model. Very carefully, we begin removing the clay that adhered our model to the mold board. Next, because this will be a closed two-part mold, we have to create a system to vent any air that may become trapped, causing defects in our part. In addition to the vertical vents, which we will apply later, we are applying clear tape around the edges of our model. For complete information on the products you've seen here, plus free access to over 30 other videos featuring topics such as silicone rubber mold making, polyurethane casting, building fiberglass laminate molds, forming composite parts, and more, please go to freemansupply.com and visit our extensive video library.